Welcome back everyone. Again, we've had another hot and humid and breezy day and that does not change for tomorrow, really for this holiday weekend. And take a look at the radar. It's been quiet in the valley, but we have been seeing some thunderstorms firing up in the mountains in Mexico. Those will stay away from us. It's just going to stay quiet for us. We'd like to see some rain, but sadly the rain chances do not look very good for the next couple of days. Look at the temperatures right now. It's 92 degrees in Edinburgh, 92 in McAllen, 88 degrees in Westlaco, 89 in Harlingen, but 98 degrees in Rio Grande City. And when you factor that humidity into the inner temperature, wow, it feels like 107 in Rio Grande City, 99 here in Westlaco. It feels like 95 in Port Isabel and 102 in Raymondville. The winds, it's been a breezy afternoon and evening so far. The winds are out of the southeast between 18 to 25 miles an hour, gusting to 35 in Port Isabel and 33 in McAllen. So here's your evening planner forecast. We're going to start off very warm at 7 p.m., also breezy and humid with temperatures in the upper 80s. We'll have increasing clouds as the nighttime goes on. We're down to 82 degrees at 9 p.m. and 81 at 11 o'clock tonight. So we're looking at just a warm and breezy and muggy Thursday night. Now, the hurricane season begins next Saturday, June 1st, and today NOAA issued their 2019 Atlantic hurricane season forecast. NOAA is calling for 9 to 15 named storms with four to eight of those becoming hurricanes and two to four of those becoming major hurricanes, meaning category three strength or higher. Now that is a near normal season expected. Now keep in mind, regardless of what the numbers they say in the forecast, it just takes one. It just takes one storm to ruin people's lives and property. So uh, every year we ask you, please be prepared before hurricane season starts. Temperatures right now are in the upper 80s. Middle. Look at Amarillo, though. thanks to the rain, it has really cooled off. Right now, 56 degrees in Amarillo, but currently 86 in Abilene, 88 in Dallas, Fort Worth. It's 92 in Austin, 98 in Laredo, 84 in Houston and El Paso, and 89 degrees in Longview. We take a look at the surface map. Things are very quiet here thanks to a big ridge of high pressure loft. That's a stable air mass in place, but things have been very nasty up north for our friends in the southern plains in the Panhandle. We'll start off in the Lubbock area. Tornado watches in the red. Severe thunderstorm warnings continue just southwest of Lubbock as these storms move to the northeast. Then in Amarillo, severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings in and around Amarillo as these thunderstorms push off to the northeast. One tornado warning to the north of Tampa, Texas and west of Canadian Texas. And then in Kansas, a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings in Dodge City as well as Hayes and Colby. Those are moving off to the northeast. Over to the east we go. This is Ohio, West Virginia. Tornado warning just north of Charleston, uh, West Virginia. Those storms moving off to the southeast. But for us, it just stays quiet in the valley thanks to this very stubborn upper level ridge of high pressure. That's a stable air mass in place. So all the storms stay north of us for this week and off to the north and east for us. It'll just stay hot and dry with temperatures easily in the mid to upper 90s each day. So if you're outside during the day, please do take it easy and drink plenty of water. Dry for tomorrow, dry for Saturday, dry for Sunday, and yes, dry for Memorial Day Monday. On the water, we'll have winds out of the southeast at 15 to 20 knots. Small craft advisory continues this evening. The bay waters are chopping the seas are 5 to 9 feet. Here's your first one five accurate weather forecast. Clouds will increase overnight. It's going to be breezy, warm and muggy with low temperatures in the upper 70s. And then for tomorrow after clouds in the morning, we'll have partly sunny skies for the afternoon. Hot and breezy with highs in the mid 90s. That means upper 90s for McAllen and triple digits in parts of the upper valley. And over the next seven days, we have more of the same folks. 96 the high temperature on Saturday. Clouds each morning, but mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies each afternoon. For Memorial Day Monday, it is partly cloudy hot and humid with highs in the mid 90s. The high temperatures will stay in the 90s next week. Lower 90s Tuesday, mid 90s Wednesday and lower 90s and Thursday. In the morning those are very warm each day. They will remain in the upper 70s. That is your first one five forecast. Back to you, Dina.